Take one look at Chad Samea's yard and you know he embraces Christmas. Because you do this not for yourself, you do it for your community, your little neighbor kids, your other kids that live around the neighborhood. He's had stuff stolen in the past. That's the reason Santa and his sleigh are locked down with a bicycle cable. But this week, the Grinches of Watertown went way too far. Actually, I came outside to check on the truck, it's something in the truck, and I came out and I noticed my fencing was all knocked over. He discovered light cords had been cut on some displays, and the big ticket item... You can see the X. I mean, it was just sliced and sliced. An inflatable Dino the Dinosaur had been sliced up. We moved the dinosaur from up by the house because the little boy next door, Dylan, who is three-year-old, he loves his dinosaur. Chad's display was one of four hit Monday night and one of nine in the past week in this... Carver County town of 4,000. Cutting the lights and slashing the inflatable. So it's it's a concerted effort. It's not a random act of vandalism. Mayor Steve Washburn told us the city's now offering a $500 reward. Correct. Correct. For any information that leads to an arrest. We'd like them to understand the damage that they're causing, the distress that they're placing on these people. We want to catch you, to be perfectly honest. We want to find you, catch you, and, and punish you. See how this side is compared yeah. to this side? They sliced it somewhere in there. Chad will go on putting up displays for his neighbors, adding something new to the holiday mix every year. Yeah. But he'd sure like to talk to those vandals. Why? I don't honestly ask him why. This is not done for me. It's not done for anybody else. This is done for the public. Why are you destroying things that, you know, we do for the people around us? Now, Dr. Seuss might say it's because their hearts are two sizes too small, but it's more likely something with their, their heads, not thinking through the cost of replacing those displays. So if you know something, call the Carver County Sheriff's tip line or use their online tip form. We've got all that info for you on the Watertown Grinch story at care11.com. Back like, to you, I Julie. agree with you. And I agree with that, the man who put up that display, too. You do it for the joy of people who drive by for other exactly. people. So hope they find them. Thanks, John. We're well, breaking the last hour.